Welcome back everyone to a brand new Smash Selects. I know a lot of you were waiting on this one because the character isn't talked about as much as others. This character is the Ice Climbers. The Icy Duo is back, but are they better than ever? Before we hop into that, let me remind you all that I'm doing a giveaway for three copies of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and the link will be in the top of the comments and description below. Now let's get a quick refresher of the Ice Climbers history since they haven't been in since Brawl. The Ice Climbers were first introduced in Melee as a duo character, and they were the only of their kind at the time. Ice Climbers were infamous for things such as wobbling where you could grab someone and infinitely damage them and then KO them at any point you want to. In Brawl, they had chain grabs which was the new wobble and it was just as annoying. Despite all that ice climbers were loved for their exploits and something called desyncs that allows the ice climbers to be out of sync with their moves and perform crazy things. In general, they had a pretty average to decent kit with all of the chain grabs and wobbles, but a lot of their moves left a lot to be desired because of a lot of their lag and poor recovery options. But without a lot of those things such as wobbles and chain grabs, the ice climbers are just average in my opinion. But in ultimate, will they be subject to the same or will they have significantly changed? There's only one way to find this out. So looking at the ultimate versions of Ice Climbers, here are all of their alternate costumes. If they were references to anything, it'd be pretty difficult to figure out because they only had a single game. Before we get into the moves, I want to say that this is the E3 demo build and any of this could be subject to change in the final game. Also, if I don't mention something, that means it is most likely unchanged or has no significant change. Now first, let's start out with the ground moves. So one of the first things I was able to find is the Ice Climber's jab has a FAF of 31 compared to Brawl where it was 27. This is a nerf making their ability to act after jab a lot longer. Dash attack does a little bit more damage but only for Nana. She does a little over 4%, specifically 4.2% if you factor in the multiplier for the damage on one-on-one -on -one battles. Moving on to Ice Climber's aerials, Nair has 6 frames of landing lag compared to Brawl being 15. This is definitely a buff. Fair now has 8 frames of landing lag compared to the previous 20 in Brawl, which is also another big buff. Ice Climbers have a brand new up air, and it has 18 frames of landing lag compared to Brawl's 30 frames of landing lag. It is also active at frame 14, and that's a pretty good buff as well. And this new up air swings around their bodies, and is a really good tool for this kit. Ice Climber's down air is pretty much the same, but it has a brand new animation, and the startup is from frame 1 to 13. It also has 21 frames of landing lag compared to 42 from Brawl, and this is a significant landing lag buff for the Ice Climbers. And moving on to their smash attacks, their down smash appears to have more range because Nana and Popo actually separate further away from each other, whereas in previous games they were closer while down smashing, and the first active frame of this is about 55. This is actually pretty significant, you might as well call this a brand new move even though it does a similar thing, but it has a brand new animation and it acts kind of in a different way. Up Smash has an FAF of 50 compared to Brawl's 49, a 1 frame difference, it isn't that big of a deal but I thought it was worth mentioning. Finally, Forward Smash has increased lag by 2 frames from 47 to 49. Ice Climber specials or things get a little bit interesting. The neutral B Ice Walk appears on frame 5 and previously appeared on frame 8. This is definitely a buff. FAF is 58 and in Brawl it was 59. This is also a buff but it's just a 1 frame difference it isn't that big of a deal. But also you can reflect the icicles back and they will damage the Ice Climbers this time around and that's more of a nerf. So down B, Blizzard now makes Nana and Popo face the same direction while using it. I see this as a nerf because the fact that they cover less area by facing the same way, not covering both of their sides isn't as good and it's not as good as a defensive option, it's more of an all in offensive option. If you miss, you miss and you're kind of done with and it can be attacked out of that pretty easily because Blizzard never really was that great of a move in my opinion. I also found out Squall Hammer has a FAF of 113. Previously, it had a FAF of 89, but because in Ultimate there's a final hit that does more damage than before, it creates more lag, but you get a stronger finishing attack for a compromise. So I see this as sort of a buff and a nerf, but if you definitely miss this move, you'll be in the move much longer and there'll be much more end lag to the move and you can get punished, but if you don't miss the move, it'll be a great compromise. And also, spoiler alert, if anyone wanted to know if B-Lay, Ice Climbers up is any better, it's not. It's exactly the same. Dang it, I really wish that move was not so dumb. Also, it's worth mentioning that you can desync Nana and Popo using Squall Hammer. You can actually trap opponents in there for a little bit. Going on to the final thing, which has to do with Nana and Popo's grab. It sucks. 
Nah, I'm just joking. It's an average move. But the specifics of it is that Nana cannot do anything while Popo is holding an opponent. And this gets rid of grab punishes from Nana while an opponent is being held. As well as follow up grab scenarios. Nana also just can't grab at all. So there's no chain grabbing in this game. And there never will be. And let's hope that it never happens someday. Because of a patch or anything like that. Chain grabs are a no-no. But if Nana is in the air while you're grabbing somebody. She still can act so something scary can still happen with nana and popo while you're being grabbed overall i feel like the ice climbers and ultimate from the e3 demo build are pretty okay maybe above average maybe just average but they definitely are not going to be as good as their previous counterparts because systems and mechanics such as chain grabs and wobbling existed and that just made ice climbers almost immortal at some points and they just don't have that here in this game and it's not going to make them as good as they were because a lot of those things made those characters good and a lot of their normals and all of their specials weren't as good as something such as wobbling if you had the option to go for wobbling that's the only thing you would go for what would be the point of going for anything else but now there's all these buffs and there's a couple nerfs here and there but overall they've gotten some improvements on their landing lag and some of their moves have new abilities and things to them such as squall hammer having a final hit to it and down smash appearing to have more range and acts a little bit differently got some decent changes overall but i don't think they're significant enough to make them super high on the tier list again depending on how this game's meta goes but i definitely do see desyncing as a big thing still that's still gonna stay intact and i feel like ice climbers overall will be kind of average but they're pretty good at the same time they have some good tools they do have some good things such as the desyncing like i mentioned but i really feel like they're not significantly as good when it comes to everything else since wobbling and chain grabs aren't in this game but the ice climbers they get some decent buffs and i actually love playing as the ice climbers they're really fun to play as and i'm gonna play a ton of them in ultimate but if you guys enjoyed this episode of smash selects hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't subscribed and i'll see you guys in the next one i appreciate you guys checking out this video and i'm out